But he's done that so well all day. Yes, and he brought his queen to e8, so he can... Whoa, a queen sacrifice. He wants that pass pawn to become a new one, and he's going after the black king, but if you take, you lose this queen, and a new one appears. Danny, this is getting chaotic, but it's Hans in time trouble. Yeah, uh, by the way, if there was d5, I thought there might have been rook takes d5 and bishop takes with g8 coming. There was some craziness there, but Hans is bringing the pressure, bringing the heat, trying to get a win in the scramble, but he's down on the time. But he's giving himself a chance here. This rook coming to g7. This king is in some trouble here. Oh, but rook g7 looks painful. I'm looking at the seconds on the clock. Both sides living on the increment here. Magnus defending. But that F1 is strong. Yeah, Bishop G6, it forced the Queen to a passive square. And there's no way Black can oh, anymore. Hans Neiman turning this around, bringing the pressure. The practical heat puts Magnus up against the wall. Will Magnus find a draw or will he go down? Suddenly, it looks like the H pawn is nearly unstoppable. You're giving a bunch of checks, but are there enough? Queen B2, the king escapes the G3, so the queen has to go to a passive defense. Oh, but now there are more checks. More checks. Will there be enough, though, for a draw? Because only Hans can win. No, I'm wrong. It's mate. Hans gets himself in trouble. It's, it's, it's almost mate. There's queen B5 checkmate, so he takes the pawn to C6. There's rook is oh my god, the, no, but if you take, you get a queen. Oh Still my. Still has to take a draw. Wait, but how many pawn, queen of four check and take on C6? It's oh even material. my gosh. Can't keep up with what's happening here. And C5 drop. Black is suddenly up a pawn. This is unreal. This is unreal. Oh my goodness. The king's coming in. And Black suddenly objectively winning because he's going after the D3 pawn. But watch out for queen trades. Watch out for queen trades. Watch out for the D3 pawn. We got to watch out for the clock, but not so much. They made enough moves to get a ton of time back with the one second increment. And the king couldn't escape, so Magnus acquiesced to a draw. 